What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Going over to 300 C. Look at these rims, boy. These are 245s on this. 245s, as y'all can see. Nice rims on it. Black. Everything. You know, I like it. It's, it's a nice, especially with this color gray. I like it. It's real nice. Especially with this color gray. It's, it's boss, to be honest. Got you an everyday car that you can save money on with gas. I like it. So y'all can see the whole thing. And, and it's just a rental. You know, this ain't my car. I'm just renting it something to do. When I was driving out to PA, you know what I'm saying? Like, this car is dope. Like, you don't always need you a fast car to have something cool, y'all. For real. Like, everybody ain't rich. You know what I'm saying? So, that is dope. Dope as hell. Like, dang. Dope as hell. You know, you don't always need you, like I was saying. Like, you don't always need to have, like, a, a V8 rich car. You know what I'm saying? Like, to have fun or to look cool. Like, you know, just be confident, be yourself. Shit, that's what I do all the time. Fuck you if you don't like me or not. Fuck you too, then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, this 300S right here. This, this is a 2019 300S. The sports model is great. Got the backup camera right here. Man, listen, I tell you, when I took this bad boy on vacay, with me and my girl out to uh, Pittsburgh to see my family and stuff, I ain't had no problems on the highway. Don't get me wrong. I couldn't keep up with, like, no, no people who had no fast cars or nothing like that. But, you know, for the most part, I was keeping up with them. You know, I had I ran into one Hellcat. I was trailing them, but I wasn't able to keep up. But, you know, but like I said, this is an everyday car or a car like you would take on vacay with you or something like that. So it's respectable to me. I know cars. It's respectable. And I love my American cars, like I told y'all. This car definitely respectful. Like I said, it got the 245s on here. The black 20 inch grill. Love it. Love it. Got the black grill. Love it again. With the Chrysler the emblem on there. Got the lights. Look at these lights, man. Listen, if you appreciate cars, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing different if you already know about cars. And again, I know this ain't no wide body, but I'm just looking at all the features. I like how it go like right here. Then it widen out a little bit. Give me that little little extra feature you know it ain't no plain jane you know you want to ride in style when you going out you know what i'm saying for real for real and i like it man let me get a shout out you know they got the the crow tail pipes you know what i'm saying got the exhaust cut off right there so y'all can see right there let me know what y'all want to see let me open up this trunk though show y'all the trunk space on this bitch <laughs> you know what i'm saying listen 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 like, you know, decent sized trunk space. I ain't even complaining. Like, if I had to put, like, some stuff in here for work or if I had to, you know, go on grocery shopping with my girl or a bunch of gifts or, like, a, a TV, you know, it does have the seats where you can let the seats down. Let me go here and let the seats down for you real quick. Show y'all. Go on here on the inside. Got the doors. They got plastic right here. You know, this is pretty good, I would say, for if you got kids or something like that or people in the backseat. You know how people don't take care of your car like you do, so you can easily just wash it off. That was the only thing why I gave this bad boy, like, for real, for real, like, a um, a 9 out of 10. Because I figured they could at least made it lighter or make it look a little bit nice. That's my only, 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 uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm burping and talking. Only flaw with the car, for real. But, you know, they made up for it because it is leather right here. A little plastic right here, but leather, leather. Got leather stitching right here. Again, this is a rental, so it is a little bit faded, you know, the stitching. But it still look nice to have 45K on it and 2019 been written with Hertz. You know what I'm saying? If the price is right, I might buy this motherfucker. For real, for real. <laughs> um, and they got the two USB ports in the back. So guess what? Me, my girl, and my sister, we all three was connected to the CarPlay. And we was playing our iPhone. So if we all wanted to change the song, it's kind of cool. It's like uh, my, my uh, sister was changing it from the back seat. My girlfriend was changing it from the passenger. So it's like everybody, look, we just going to take turns with the songs. It wasn't no, oh, let me get your phone to change it. Or, no, nah, let me use uh, my phone to uh, change it. Let me unplug it. No, nah, this was all set. So that's what I really love, how Chrysler has that. You connect with the CarPlay. You can add the USB ports or the wireless USB um, for it. You know what I'm saying? The wireless. Uh, yeah, the wireless Bluetooth. Not no wireless USB. It's wireless Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let me show y'all, uh, like I was saying, let me show y'all the uh, how the seats go down. So listen, like I was saying, so I had the seat back a little bit. So let me let that up for y'all. We'll just seat up oh yeah not to mention automatic seats baby automatic seats all right listen i'm impressed with this car so like i was saying if you got something long like you was buying a tv from best buy or fries or you know 
at or ABC Electronics, wherever you get your stuff from, or you going to Home Depot to get you a long tool, some wood. You know, obviously, this is a decent, nice car, so you will lay you some tarp out or some blankets and, you know, slide that bad boy up in there. And if it's like some wood, you can slide that all the way up to the front. You see my finger, like, all the way up to the front right there. Got you a light in the back. Oh, yeah, let's look at the... Got you a spare tire? Oh, got the battery in the back, just like with the new Hellcats and uh, Scat Packs. Man, Chrysler did one with this one, for real. I'm not going even front. Spare tire, decent. It's a decent size spare tire, looking at it. What's the rating on this? Where is the size? Okay, so it's a TI, if y'all can see that. TI 45. That ain't a bad for a temporary tire, you know what I'm saying? This is bigger than most, to be honest. This is bigger than most, so I'm not gonna even complain. So, you know, that, you know, and one thing, I uh I get all car manufacturers on. Put you a decent jack in there. I don't care who you are, all you car manufacturers, put you a decent jack, because some of these jacks are dangerous or they fall, they just too hard. You never know when your car gonna break down and you gotta uh what's it called? And you gotta uh lift your car, replace the tire. What happened if you on the incline? Stop making these jacks so a little cheap, you know what I'm saying? But just put a little bit more money in them jacks, because I always tell everybody, get you a little jack from AutoZone or O'Reilly's or offline. Work the ones you can actually crank up a little mini jack for about 50 bucks. Trust me, you get in that position where you need to change your car tire and you in a rush, you need to be somewhere, and that little jack ain't able to lift your car up, you're gonna be pissed. Trust me, it happened to me a bunch of times. A bunch of times. Anybody who knows what that means or that happened to them, put a like or comment in that video. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Blake Taylor. I do car reviews, I like to drive cars real fast. You know, I'm currently saving up for a Mustang, but. That's for another video. We working on it. You're to see right now. Again, this bad boy is very pretty, very nice. I love it. So, you know, it don't got no Brembo bangs because obviously this ain't no V8 with no 6.2 uh, liter uh, supercharged. You know what I'm saying? Like the Hellcat. You know, but hey, it's decent. It's decent. Let me lift that seat back up. I got the seat down and everything. Like I'm actually about to put something in there after I was showing y'all. <laughs> but hey, listen, y'all. I'm 5'4". I sit back here comfortably, obviously. But for a taller guy like my dad, who was riding the car, my dad is 6'1", 300 pounds. Listen, he sat back here comfortably. I should have got it, I should have got it, my bad, next time I will. But trust me on this, when I say he sat back here comfortably, he sat back here comfortably, for real, for real. So I'm comfortable right now, as you can see, but I'm 5'4". All you tall dudes might be like, my little short ass, oh, of course you are gonna fit comfortably. Listen, listen, I lay back here all crazy. <laughs> I'm comfortable like this. No, I'm just kidding, but listen, uh, no, all jokes aside, like for real, for real, like, um, my dad was comfortable, no lie. So, so if you got like two bigger guys in back here, one, two, where I'm at, you can sit comfortably. Like, now, if you got a tall guy who like, or Mr. Organic who like 6'10 or 6'8, of course, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas might be a little, eh, might be a little crunched. I seen y'all niggas' videos, I see how y'all be crunched, but y'all be making that shit work. Y'all make it look good. So, you know, shout out to y'all, tall guy, Mr. Organic, keep doing y'all thing. Much love. Um, but other than that, I like this car. For a rental, it drives good. And the reason I keep putting in mind this is a rental, because you know how people, I know everybody who had this car and played with it a little bit and dogged it. And just to show you how strong the engine and how in good condition the engine is still after all this time just shows you how the quality of Chrysler they put into making this car or Mopar even, because you know Mopar makes the engines for Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, hey, y'all did y'all thing Chrysler, but I already knew that. If you like American cars, y'all already knew that. You know what I'm saying? Man, I just love it. I've been stole so like doped and geeked over this car as if it's actually mine. I wish I could buy it, to be honest, because I tricked this bad boy out. I might do a little something to it. I don't know. But that's a whole nother story. A whole nother story. I got a little something, something coming in the wrap, so y'all going to see a new car coming soon, but I ain't going to tell y'all what it is. Can't tell y'all what it is. I'm sorry. But yeah, let's move up to the front. Let's move up to the front, though. Oh, yeah. Let me, before we go inside, I forgot to tell y'all. It got the, um, let me see, the light in this bag. Okay, there we go. It got the heated uh, side mirror, so, you know. Man, I feel in 2020, 2021, that's a must. Because when you, it's winter time, and it got, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We gonna get to something real quick. Let me show you. Got the Alpine right here. Listen, y'all, I'm sorry if I keep jumping. I got ADHD. I'm kind of happy right now, and my mind goes everywhere, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do my best to stay on topic. I promise. I'm gonna do my best to stay on topic. Shout out if you got ADHD and working through that shit, because you're gonna conquer anything that steps in your way. Listen, man. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Don't let none get in your way. But back to the currently scheduled program. Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, so you got the defogger on the window. I mean, on the uh, side mirror like that to defog if it's snow or iced up, you know, when it's cold. 
Um, and you also got this defogger right here. So like, cause a lot of times you can defog your side view mirrors, but a lot of times car manufacturers, again, this ain't to American cars, this ain't to foreign cars, just car manufacturers all around the world. The, the, the window defroster for this part for you to see your side view mirrors when it's cold out or whatever is always kind of shitty. So Chrysler did good because it was kind of fogged up. It was kind of cold out in PA uh, Pittsburgh when we was there. So it default it defaulted quick. Like uh, my girl's car, my my girlfriend's dad car. He got he got a newer Corvette. It got the heated uh, mirrors too, but if it's not heated mirrors, he got the side ducts right here. But it does not do the same thing. It do not do the same thing. And like I'm just saying, like car manufacturers. That's just a pet peeve of mine. Like, I don't feel like after I already got out the car to get the snow off or whatever, or whatever little ice, uh, me having to get back out and just go outside and do all this or roll the window down. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's too hectic. I don't pay too much money for the car. I want to relax. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, we got the dash right here. So as you can see, I've been driving it in uh, sport mode with the little uh, green flag. And I got traction control off. Let me show y'all too. So let me turn this on. So it's, it's on right now. So listen, 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 listen. Let me turn this over. My bad. <laughs> so no phone connected right now. Let me get out of that. Um, Where am I going? Oh, yeah. I'm about to show y'all. Listen. So if I turn this off, traction control is on right now. It's on. So when I turn it on, look. Oh, what happened? What happened? No, it's not acting right. What is going on? <laughs> okay. I'm look Listen. I'm listen, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong screen. Anybody who knows this car, my bad. Who, who owns this car, I mean, my bad. I was looking at this screen right here. I want to really show you right here. It show you on the dashboard and not the center console screen. So my bad. I'm about to press traction mode and y'all about to see what's going to happen on the dashboard screen. I'm about to show y'all right now. So when I press traction mode, the button that my finger was on, it show you traction control sport, you know, but it's not in sport unless you press the sport mode with the flag. So if you got traction control off plus the uh, flag on, that means you are all set to go when the, with this V6 engine in sport mode. You know what I'm saying? And it, it does highly good. Don't worry. I'm going to show y'all the engine. Don't y'all worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> all right. Listen, listen. Okay, so the glove department. Again, another, another thing. They The car's phenomenal. I like it. I just wish they could have put a little better material. You know what I'm saying right here? You know, just a little bit something better it. Maybe it, you know, something like this, you know, you can instantly tell the difference. This right here looks the same, but this right here feels different. It looks the same, but feels different. If they could have put this type of material, like with some stitching right here, a little bit more details, what I'm trying to say, like all around right here. I like how they got this, but made it like some real wood grain, man. Come on, y'all give us a little bit, some, some, some extra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what really gave this a 10 out of 10. But other than that, the car's phenomenal. I'm not even hating on the car. You know, you got your three buttons for the, if you got a garage, you live at home. I like these lights right here. They're not too plain. And again, for the average working American or average working person, this is a great car to get. Don't let nobody tell you, you always need to have something limited edition, man. You got to live within your means so way you can get out of your current situation and move on up. If you always trying to keep up with the Joneses, you ain't going to never have no, no time to save or no time to do things because every little bit of ounce of energy or time or money or power, whatever you get, you, you going all out just to keep up with somebody else. When if you had just saved and sat on your money, you would have been able to probably exceed them and, and just and go farther places. But you so so focused trying to keep up with societal means of you need this new car. You, you don't need to always max out, for one. You don't need to always max out. I, I, I Listen, I used to do it myself. You don't need to always keep up with people. Stay in your lane. Do you. Do what's best for you. You know, I'm going to do what's best for Blake. But you got to do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? But that was just a side note. Give y'all a little... On my mindset, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a like for that if you feel what I'm saying. But other than that, I do like how Chrysler always keeps the nostalgic, you know, little, little classic clock right here. And all 300s, they do that. I like it. It's different. Plus, you got the digital. So it's kind of classic old school with modern new. Classic old school with modern new. I love it. I love it, baby. Other than that, you know, you got the AC right here. I like how it's got the auto. So guess what? Let me turn this bad boy off right now. Okay, so let me turn it off. I'm about to press off. Start engine. It's off. Car is off off now as y'all can see car is off press break to start so i ain't gonna press break because i'm gonna show y'all it's got a remote start so like if you was it was cold winter or summer or whatever and you set your ac or heat to a certain temperature here's what you can do you in your house or your apartment and you say hey it's cold out i don't want to get in no cold car it's cold out so here's what you do you take the keys like this See this little button right here? Twice, hit it twice. 
I'm gonna show y'all a little, little start up. It ain't, a, it ain't a cold start. I'm sorry, it ain't a cold start, but hit this little button twice. Heard it quick. Okay, you heard that little growl. It's a V6. It's a V6. So, like I said, we cannot get mad. This is an everyday car. And, and you know the good thing? This car gets on a full tank, at least for me. This my, Somebody may have the same as that car and model color and trim. It may get better. I, I, I believe that's all depending on the engine and the wear and tear after a certain while and period of time. But for me, when me and my girl drove this trip and filled up on a full tank, it got 408 miles on a full tank. Full tank, no lie. Full tank, no lie. So, you know, that ain't bad to try. That mean, and that was an eight-hour trip from Chicago to uh, Pittsburgh. No lie. So, we had to fill up only one time each way, which is pretty damn good. People always want to say American cars don't get good gas mileage. You better think again. Like, it's pretty good. Let me pop this engine so I can show y'all some more. Okay, I'm looking for the pop engine. Where is the engine? Have not pop Oh, here it is. Right here. Here's the little engine thing. Y'all also got y'all a little e-brake right here, too. Okay, and just like that, listen, I, that's a new feature that I didn't even know about. When I uh pulled the pop the hood little uh, tr uh, uh lever right there, the remote start automatically canceled. It automatically canceled, so I like that. That's pretty dope. So, we're going to go check this out right here. Pop this bad boy open. You know, so it got the V6 3.6 liter. You know, other than that, it's just a regular car. You know, got this... In my Dodge Avenger that was all-wheel drive that I had, which was the RT, it was 3.5, so this is a 3.6 liter. It's a little bit big. I did notice it was slightly faster than my um my Dodge Avenger I used to have. But other than that, you know, you got your intake right here. You know, your fluids, I believe this is the, what is this? It's probably the uh the uh, radiator fluid, the cooling fluid. But, you know, you got your wind wipers, your battery. Batteries in the trunk, you know, like you guys know. Other than that, you know, just a basic car, the engine. Like I said, it's a rental, so it's kind of dirty. But, you know, like I, like I keep saying. This is a great car to buy and stunning too. Because hey, if I brought this car, to be honest with you guys, at the minimum, since I would put like at least, if I didn't do a supercharger or pro charger or a turbo charger because of if I don't want to spend out the money like that, I would at least put a cold air intake. You know I'm definitely getting it tuned. So don't even play that. You know I'm definitely getting it tuned. I might change a little a little few things like the fuel injectors. Uh I might change the heads, you know, minor stuff if I didn't want to go all out and spend like five to 10k on the car you know what i'm saying something like that so that's what i would do but other than that like y'all can see big old hood space you know this ain't no small v6 so it definitely got some get up and go you know what i'm saying close this back down i like how you ain't got to use no little flyer right here oh no i'm just doing a review for my car oh thank you man i appreciate that hey. most people don't do that hey man so we got good samaritans out here dude thought i needed help with my car but you know Hey, doing a, you know, you don't get that all the time. So, like, you heard me just say thank you, you know. Hey, thank people when they help you because nobody has to give you anything in life. You know that? So, hey, that's what that's, I had to learn that the hard way, especially being as a kid, um, you know, being a little spoiled. You know, the real world will teach you. If mom and dad don't teach you, the real world will teach you, <laughs> to be honest. But let me close this trunk down. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Again, these lights. Love it. Look at the detail right here. I like these right here. Matter of fact, let me turn this bad boy on so we can see the lights in action. You know what I'm saying? Forget all that crap. About to hit this little button. I love the Chrysler Key So we got the panic. If you need to panic, hope you nobody ever got a panic because that means something bad going on that you need to get an intruder off on you. And, oh, yeah, if y'all ain't carrying, concealed and carry, make sure you got some proper protection on you because it's a crazy world we live in. But anyways, listen. One, two. Woo-hoo. Okay, there we go. There we go. So y'all see the lights? See these lights right here? I like these. And then these, when I got the lights, I'm gonna turn these lights on so y'all can see. Then you got the bottom ones right here too. The bottom ones right here. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna show y'all with the high beams on. So as you can see, got the high beams on right here. Cause I had it on auto, so the lights ain't gonna be on. So I got it on high. And I got the high beams on right here, as y'all can see. Got the high beams on. Okay, there we go. So it should be on now. Yeah, so yeah, we got these lights on. So y'all see the lights. And if you brought this car, you could probably do something like you could get some LEDs and like you know how the guys be doing, change the color of this light right here. Put you something cool like an emblem you like. That's what I would do at least, because the technology is already in the car. It's up to you if you want to modify it. You know what I'm saying? Which with this new technology and all these cars, whatever car you get, it's, 
it's not that hard. It's really not. So, you know, just, just doing this with the rims and shit like that, it ain't that bad. You know, so classic design. Subi passing. That all wheel drive, symmetrical all wheel drive, ain't no joke on that Subi, but other than that, like I was saying, you know, how could I miss the tail lights? Duh. Listen, tail lights is dope as fuck. You can see the detail in it. Like that, so I like that. You know, I ain't gonna even try to front on y'all. For real, for real. Let me tell y'all this. I'm not gonna even try to front on y'all. I'm not gonna try to act like I'm some dude who know all every little sweet tail. I'm just gonna I'm gonna give y'all like a like a real motherfucking review. I'm gonna give y'all a real review. You know what I'm saying? Just how you would see if you got in the car and you would be wild by, oh I didn't know the car had this, or you would be disappointed like if you felt it needed a little bit more detail. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all that type of review. So this I have not really reviewed the car. I played with the stuff. But I ain't really gave no review. So this is a first time review and I'm not gonna edit it. I'm gonna edit a video, but you know, I ain't gonna be like, oh, let me go read up on this knowledge so I can sound like I know what I'm talking about. Listen, if you want an engineering session, you better go check out Chrysler Mopar and look how they made the car. I might do something like that, it might be cool. You know what I'm saying? But if you one of them nerds that want all the stats and stuff like that, I'm gonna post the links and stuff like that. But you know, right now we just going over the features of the car. I don't know all the dimensions and everything. I know some people like to go in and all that, but for right now, we just going over the car, you know, the shit that everybody see. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. It's kind of windy, so I hope y'all can hear me. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. Living in Illinois, this windy city, you know. We have good weather some days, bad weather some days. But I'm just at the Forest Reserve, as y'all can see my surroundings. But, again, if I miss, what am, I, am I missing anything, first of all? I don't think so. I don't, the only thing this car is missing, that if the rental place would have gave me, is tents. Boy, murder, midnight tents. Boy, this shit would look dope as fuck. Matching the rims. So you know what I'm saying? Matching the rims. Right there. These rims hard as fuck. One thing everybody's told me about this car. That I, and it, you know, I only had it for like a week. Renting, to keep in mind. The rims is the first thing they notice with the color. So this is the perfect color combination if you ask me. And don't forget the detail right here. Look at this detail. Black with the black, you know. Detail is they made this gloss. They could have made it matte now. Keep in mind, they could have made it matte. Now, if I was to spec this boy out, I might do something like with the head, the, 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 uh, the sides right here, or the handles. I wouldn't go on all black, but I might put some type, type of specs or something like that. I would look online and see if I could create my own type of design and play with it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Other than that, you know, spectacular car. Chrysler is my favorite, or Dodge or Ram Jeep, my favorite car manufacturer in the world. My family grew up on Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep products, so you know, naturally, I liked it. I didn't like it too much because I did get into cars. Mustang will always have my heart, but Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram will always be my favorite. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, spectacular car. I can't really say too much more. If I did, I'd just be prolonging the video. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, man. The only other thing I might do to it, if I did really want to trick it out, plus put do something to the engine, like I was saying, make do a wide body kit, cause you know you can get the fenders welded on at these body shops. You know what I'm saying? Gonna cost you a little penny, but hey, long as you happy though. You know what I'm saying? All right, so yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear the engine ain't really too loud. I'm just really impressed because you know to really show the durability of the car and it being a rental car. And what I know my, people be dogging it, going fast in sport mode. The engine is still in very good quality. And don't get me wrong, I know that does come with keeping up with the oil changes, transmission fluid, and everything like that. Exchange, and I know the rental car company does. But some cars, if they're just poor quality, the engineering time wasn't spent making sure that the engine was built like to last and built for quality, you can change the oil and all those fluids all you want to. The car's still gonna go to shit, you know? Other than that, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Like, if I had a mic, drop the mic. You know what I'm saying? Because this is my first time I've rode it through. This is my first time riding the sport mode V6 like this. And I'm impressed. That's why. I know the V8, the 5.7 liter V8 and the 300C is good and all that. And some guys putting Hellcat engine in them. I'm not oblivious to that. And those are dope ass cars too. So if you was to drop a Hellcat engine in this, it's dope ass. Motherfucker, that be what? Oh my gosh. Don't even play. Don't even get me started on that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying for this V6, it's a good buy. And you can still have some fun with your money. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. So, other than that, you know, we're going to get to it. You know, we're going to do a little bit. I'm going to show y'all some B-roll in a second of the car and everything like that. So, don't even worry. 
I got a few a few pulls while I was going over 100. I couldn't do too much because police on that Ohio and Pennsylvania turnpike is crazy. Crazy. I seen so many motherfuckers getting pulled over. You know what I'm saying? Almost dropped the phone right there. That's crazy. And I caught it. And it's still recording. Man, your boy got hands. No, I ain't no guy receiver. I'm 5'4. Call me short guy. I ain't no tall guy. Call me short guy. I ain't no tall guy. But you know what I'm saying? Dang, boy. I'm geeked right now. <laughs> but other than that, I think, I think we got everything. Yeah, I think we got everything.